in different time graph, y is time usually taken on x axis and not on y axis. Graphs are meant to show relation between variables and normally the dependent variable is on the y axis and independent on x axis. What is the difference between a dependent and independent variable? If a person normally gets more gray hair with age, then number of gray hair is dependent on age. So we can say that gray hair are dependent on age where age is an independent variable. We have heard the saying, time waits for no one. Time is not dependent on other factors. It always goes on and on. In our studies, when we analyze how things change with time, things such as distance a car has traveled or how the population of a country has increased over the years or how the price of gold has increased in the last few decades, we look at these values as they change with time. Distance traveled, population of the country and price of gold are all dependent on time which is an independent variable. So we plot these values on y-axis with the independent variable time on x-axis. But why did we plot the independent variable on x-axis in the first place? Well, this is more of a convention. Could have been the other way had mathematicians started representing the independent variable on y-axis. Seems difficult to imagine, right? So, since time is an independent variable, in all practical scenarios, it is always shown on x-axis in all real-world problems. To get more answers to the latest hot questions, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website.